Hi. Now in this question, we've got to solve this differential equation. dy dx equals minus x cubed plus 4x minus 5 all over 2x cubed, where x doesn't equal 0. And we're given these initial conditions that y equals 7 and x equals 1 and asked to find y then in terms of x, giving each term in its simplest form. And if this is a question you feel you'd like to have a go at, just pause the video, come back when ready, and you can check your work solution with mine. Okay, welcome back if you had a go. So, uh, let's see how you got on. Well, first of all, to find out what y would be, just generally, y would equal the integral of the two terms that we've got here. So we just start off with y equals then the integral of minus x cubed plus 4x minus 5 all divided by 2x cubed. Okay, if we think of integration as the reverse, the inverse of differentiation, then y would equal the integral of this. With respect to x, now we're integrating two terms, so we need to put that in brackets, and we're integrating it then with respect to x. Now, to integrate this, the first term's straightforward. It's going to be minus x to the power 4 over 4. But it's this second term that we need to adjust. So I'll just hold back on the first term first of all. So we've just got then the integral of minus x cubed. But for this one, what I'm going to do is, because we've got two terms on the top, 4x and then the minus 5, divided by one term on the bottom, then what I'm going to do is treat this as each term being divided by the 2x cubed. So we've got 4x over 2x cubed, and then minus 5 all over 2x cubed. And then all of this is integrated with respect to x. Next, um, what I'm going to do is just tidy up before we start to integrate, because it's these two terms here that we need to prepare. So for this term here, I can see that we can cancel this. We've got 2 into 2 goes 1, 2 into 4 goes twice. And then x divided by x cubed, remember we subtract the powers, 1 take away 3 is minus 2. So we can think of this now as x to the power minus 2. So we've got 2x to the power minus 2 there. So let's just put that in, plus 2x to the power minus 2. And for this one here, we've got minus 5 over 2 multiplied by essentially 1 over x cubed. 1 over x cubed is the same as x to the power minus 3. And all of this is integrated with respect to x. Now there was another way that you could have achieved these two terms here. And it's quite common to see this. If you've got 4x minus 5 over 2x cubed, then you could think of this as being identical to a half. That's the 1 over 2 here. And then multiplied by 1 over x cubed, which is the same as x to the minus 3. And then all of that is multiplied by 4x minus 5. Don't find yourself bringing the 2 up, OK? It's not 2x all to the power minus 3. It's just the 1 over 2 x to the minus 3. And then you could expand this and you've got a half of 4 which is 2 and then x to the minus 3 times x to the power 1. Add the powers and you get x to the minus 2. And then you've got a half x to the minus 3 multiplied by minus 5 which is going to be minus 5 over 2 x to the power minus 3. So you had that alternative version then to get these two terms here. So either way, let's just 
now integrate this okay so if we do integrate this in the usual way where we add one to the power and divide by the new power so minus x cubed becomes minus x add one to the power becomes four divide by the new power so that's four then we go on to the next term so we add one to the power so we've got 2x to the power minus 1 and then divide by the new power minus 1. For the next term we've got minus 5 over 2 add 1 to the power so you've got x to the minus 2 and then divide by the new power so we can just continue that line down there and put minus 2 there. And don't forget you've got your constant of integration which I'm going to call plus c. Now what I need to do next is just tidy this up and what we have now is that this is equal to minus x to the power 4 over 4 nothing to do there but when we come on to this next term we can think of this as a negative number first of all because we've got 2 divided by minus 1 so it's going to be minus 2 and that's multiplied by x to the minus 1. In other words, multiply this minus 2 with 1 over x, which is going to give us minus 2 over x. Then we come on to this term here. So you've got minus 5 over negative 4 here. Okay, 2 times minus 2 is negative 4. So minus 5 over minus 4 is going to be plus 5 over 4. But then we've got x to the minus 2, which is the same as multiplying by 1 over x squared. So 5 over 4 multiplied by 1 over x squared is going to give us 5 over 4x squared. And then you've got your constant of integration plus c. OK, well, I want some more room here, so I'm going to have to remove this alternative version of getting these two terms. Now we need to work out what the constant c is going to be and we use these initial conditions. So let's just say up here that now y equals 7 when x equals 1. And if that's the case all we've got to do is just substitute these values then into our equation here. We know that y is now 7, so we therefore have 7 equals minus x to the power 4 over 4. But x is 1, so we've got minus 1 to the power 4 over 4. And then we've got minus 2 over x, minus 2 over 1 then, and then plus 5 over 4 multiplied by 1 squared, and then plus c. So what do we get from this? We get 7 equals, well 1 to the power 4 is 1, then we've got the minus there, so it's minus 1 quarter, minus 2, and for this one, 1 squared is 1, so we end up with 5 over 4, and plus c. And if we work this side out, what have we got here? We've got minus a quarter plus 5 quarters, that's 4 quarters, or 1 whole 1. Minus 2 plus 1 is minus 1. Add it to both sides, add 1 to both sides that is, and you get 7 add 1 which is 8, so 8 equals C. So if we substitute this back into here, we finally get that therefore Y equals minus X to the power 4 over 4 minus 2 over X plus 5 over 4x squared and then plus the constant of integration c which we've seen is 8 so plus 8. Okay so there we go find y in terms of x giving each term in its simplest form.